Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. I hope that's not a sign of things to come when it comes to redoing this little nightstand here. But as I promised, I am going to do this. So because of you guys, it inspires me to do this and not chicken out <laughs> something I've never done. So yes, I did paint this. So yes, I did paint this. It's not like I've never painted anything before. But as far as taking off the paint, using stripper and sanding and using different pr processes and procedures and equipment, um, I have not done a lot of this or most of it. So. Here we go. So I'm going to, the plan is with this little nightstand, first I'm going to remove these little handles. Um, they were perfect for this, but I, like I said in the last video, I'm not sure what is under this. I don't know if it's something of interest, if the wood is, is it's probably just something boring, but I don't know. So I don't even know what I'm going to do yet because I have to see what we have. So there's one down. We'll do another one. In fact, I'm so new at all of this that my husband is going to help me put together this video, uh, stitch together different clips. So it won't be like all choppy. So I'm new to that too. I'm, so I'm completely learning all this from, from the beginning, you guys. Um, so there we have this part um, done and I will show you in a second the next thing I'm going to do which involves applying a chemical stripper. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I'm back. Before I start the stripping process, I'll be using this uh, Clean Strip Premium Stripper. Little cheap brush. Definitely want to use protective equipment, so I do have glasses, but I want to protect my glasses as well as give more protection to my eyes. And I will be using a special mask to make sure that the chemicals don't kill me. <laughs> hey, just remember, if you don't have a filter, you are a filter. And that goes for water, air, whatever. And in this case, I really don't want to be a filter for chemicals because um, I really have never used this before, but I'm assuming it smells bad. It might not smell bad. I don't know. I just don't want any chemicals. Um, be using this old grody putty knife, which I probably should clean off a little bit. And then one of these, don't use this as a toothbrush. It's a little metal brush here. That would hurt. Ugh, I don't think the dentist would appreciate that. So, oh, and gloves. So. There we go. So wish me luck. You're coming along for the ride. Hey everybody, I don't know if you can hear me, but I have it in this little bowl, the stripper. I really hope you can hear me. I can hardly breathe in this mask, but anyway. 
not here to whine. Just saying. So, I'm just putting it on here. Brushing the stripper on. Should be interesting. What what have, has to happen though is I put it on here and then I'll have to shut off the video and come back to you in about 15 minutes to um to to see if it's done its job. So it's not it, it's not instantaneous. does have to, it does take a little time. I'm not going to do, I'm just basically doing the top part to show you what it looks like. So, and then I'm thinking I'll just do the rest of it off camera. And then when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like and we'll go from there, I guess. Maybe I'll have a, maybe I'll have a poll on, take your suggestions and say what, what you think I should do with it. Like if I should paint it or, or what. Anyways, it's actually starting to, take it off already I see so I'm just going to pour the rest of this on here because I can't really pour it back in and it's probably wasteful I'm sure so um goodness I'm making a mess now but hey this is my first time, so <laughs> um, you'll just have to learn with me, right? Uh, so I think I'll just leave it. I'll just let it sit here. Um, I said I was just going to do the top, but <laughs> some of this is coming down and I don't know, might as well brush it on. So we're going to let it sit for 15 minutes and then see what happens. Okay, guys? Welcome back, everybody. I think I have everything I need here. If I don't, well, I guess I'll stop the video and figure it out but it's been over 15 minutes uh but it's really looking cool look at that isn't that neat so let's uh let's see what happens here i'm using some firm pressure here with the putty knife some long strokes here and that's how it's doing so far and you know what um, I'm, I'll probably have to apply the, the stripper some more because sometimes it doesn't get get it all I mean especially if a piece has been painted numerous times and has many layers of history different colors of paint on it and it's gonna take a while so let's see what happens here it is kind of fun to be doing this with you guys because otherwise I'd 
I'll just be doing this by myself. You know, this is exciting, isn't it? You know, the saying about something is as interesting as watching paint dry. Well, I think this is a little more interesting than that. We are not watching paint dry, but we've seen it bubble and now we're removing it. I think that's a little more interesting, don't you think? So, I think I'm going to have to um, apply another coat of stripper on here. So, I should just perhaps shut off the, the video and and do more of this so I don't bore you guys to tears and then we'll we'll jump to the next section. How about that? So I think that's what I'll do. I'll be back in a few. Okay, everybody. This is the final installment for today. I'm actually really tired for something this small, this small of a piece of furniture. It takes a lot of work. I really have to appreciate all the amazing work that others do in, in uh, refinishing, fixing up, re restoring furniture. It, I mean, I never thought it was easy, but this gives me an appreciation for all the work. But anyway, this is what I have so far today. Um, like I said, I'm just tired. I don't want to go on anymore. It's getting cold and uh, getting darker. We're going to be getting some rain. So anyway, um, so this came out pretty good. I mean, I need to do another coat of that stuff. It takes a while. It does. It takes multiple coats. So that's the front. Just to be honest, I didn't do that side. Uh, didn't get to it. But, oi. Um, I did that side. Doesn't look like much, I know. But I got a lot off, to be honest. So, anyway, also, I wanted to let you know that that stripper does have a strong smell, a very chemical smell. I never used it before, so just, I'm sure all of you who've done this kind of thing before are like, oh yeah, it smells. Well, yeah, it smells. So, anyway, that's a big difference, though, uh, here from from those little drawers over there uh, you can see the the difference in that so I've I've gotten I've gotten somewhere today but I'm gonna just keep at it and I will uh, give you another installment um, sometime in the next week uh, depending on the rain so thanks for watching and you guys have a great weekend Please like, subscribe, share, and please comment. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Thanks, everybody. Bye.